pick up through and through at the I-6, the Phantom of Sanson. It comes out here and now, and it does look like it's going to be a core position. Uh, Lumi, I don't know if you've been born yet. Hopefully, we will pray that the firewall from China is not going to be too vicious and that the lag will not be too severe. But here we go, already early destruction going to be happening. We're already talking about the burden and how hard it can be for Super already, Lumi, and it's first blood already onto him. QO picks up. Yeah, they are flirting with danger here. Connell's got move speed, but still, you got disruption on one side and possibly an easy setup of a torrent. Do they have the firepower? Oh, they got great blocks, so that's good enough. Man, just quick work already coming out from MVP. MVP still letting him know that we have this aggro lane, and we're looking to punish you. To see if MVP look to make a, an audible call. It looks like they will. Suddenly, here comes Dibu. Show up on his Shadow Demon. Are they going to actually try to engage on the Monet? Not a, really. It looks like instead they'll just try their best to zone him back, but this is definitely very flustering, I'd imagine, to uh, LFY in the early game. <laughs> Monet's dead, too. Man, they just went right in on him. Velo was happy to hold her. It's Ryzen nearby. On the Kunkka, so much hate focused on this mid lane. Dubu's going to make the call now. Destruction is there. Kibo looks for the dagger. He stacked stack, the jump's gonna be had, they're gonna go super now and they'll be able to get it done. Are they gonna go for the follow-up? Uh, just a casual, you know, being alone or being caught off guard in the laning phase, and they don't, they can't even lose much of a threat. He's able to kind of get the creeps out of the tower. Well, mid lane, more assault coming in by MVP, and it's on to super again. We have seriously jinxed this man in this game because he's gonna be dropping down once more. Yep, dagger to the back. We'll help secure that one. MVP off to a hot start, five to one, but Elf will be able to at least get Dubu down to get themselves on the board. Really where I'm getting at, and MVP now smoked. They're on the prowl. A deep ward here, just really looking to Elfi murder hurts. Yeah, but hey, they drew a lot of attention, and MVP could just get the ball back, and Monet's gonna have to do that long slide of shame back to the fountain. But uh oh, QO makes a re engagement here for Super, tries to jump it away, but the X is there, pulls him right back, and takes him down. Global comes out, they want to go for more because they saw, well, the faceless void come in and try to drop out the chrono here, and now they're looking to disengage, jump in. Is not going to get them close enough, but he finally dishes out the chrono. We can't see it, but now we can. <laughs> Thanks to the great wide firewall. A blast fly forward could help them get Koka, but no, they can't get it. He's going to live and walk away, and he'll be the one to go down because here comes Velo, stepping right in on the timber saw. A under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Be still. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And I don't think he will. Jumps back in, eats a curse, and that will be the end of it. I guess a buyback to be able to slow the momentum of MVP, but it is another hard hit to the LFY piggy bank on that, and specifically for Super. I mean, I hate to be so hard on the guy, but he is just a serious non-factor in this game, unless there's going to be a timing window or someone else to kind of, you know, be there. All right, I like it. I want to see LFY go on the offensive here. Let's see if they can find some, a nice little gracious pick. Silencer's in target, he can't get away easily. And he has no TP, this man is dead. And that will be hopefully a pill pick up for Super. Uh, Monet will grab it, that's another nice person to grab it, but. Yummy. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, he jumped in and he's like, I'm feeling it guys, we got this! And then he just gets hit in the face of the boat, he goes down, and MVP are like, how dare you cross us and try to get another kill. They move in, they'll also take down LPC, and that is just it. You take one of ours, we'll take two of yours. And Oh, 
who gets all that life back. Nice little time walk right there, just in time as the burst will not be there for MVP. But again, more spent defensively to try to get themselves out of harm's way. MVP continue to push forward. Velo again getting something by that mana leak. It's like, I might need Seer to get a Lotus Orb. Now there's going to be the turnaround Chrono, though. Zubu's able to get the snipe as Monet goes down. Big blast flying forward. Super looking to go to finish. Like, whoa, and they'll get it. There's something in their way, and they're hoping for more. A nice jump on the Debbie could do the trick here. He's looking to bounce back it out, but Super's going to be running out of mana. So that's where, well, Yao would hope to sweep in. But now taking it on the Super. Super has no mana. Meanwhile, Boat is going to be flying out up to the north. They'll be able to take Super down. And that's the two cores already out in, is how good is that push going to be here from MVP? They have a hard enough time to hit towers. I imagine sieging into the high ground is not going to be easy, and certainly not into a Chrono, into a Stomp, into a lot of money on the map that LFY have yet to even claim. It looks like they've been able to get off an X here. They're going for the Boat. Looking to get rid of Yao, but he gets the time walk off. Doesn't stop QO, though. Look at him jump in and gets a crit. Uh-oh, suddenly Yao in a lot of trouble. Has the time violation, but it's not going to be good enough. Oh, no. 40 seconds on the sidelines, and now no Chrono for a high ground defense. Say it ain't so. It's still not going to be good enough. Now, meanwhile, it has been Monet's best farm time, probably, of the game as a whole. They got that tier down. Oh, my God! Are you kidding me? Fellow! And he's going to go right back to the... I don't know. Yeah, he's locked it pretty good. But do they have the firepower to do anything about it? Kyo is like, no, they don't. I'll jump in and I'll be the one to dish out all the firepower. They're going to put Shrek right on through and take down Xiao Wei, the director himself. Now the response play, yeah, to get off the chrono, but again, he's like, drops the chrono, walks away. And you know that's not a chrono, and they don't even let him get away. Kyo vicious this game on the PS1 and 5. As they push on in for the tier 3, Lumi, with where it's going right now, I mean, could the towel be thrown in soon? I, I imagine why well, I feel like they can hold on a bit longer, but this is a clinic from the Koreans. And, well, Super, in a bit of trouble, goes in. You'll feel the blast down waves. It's your job. So the farm just comes with it. So so will the Ags, which is nice and all, but, you know, you get that, get the old man a gem as, you know, QO is just... Okay. They'll get him on the low ground. Response will be the global, and there goes the boat. And with that rum, any damage that's been put out will be quickly mitigated, and that could be the end of it there. Connell's going to be going down right away. QL will pop that new BKP and looks for his next assailant, but LFY happy to get custom mid rack. Not right now. He's like, I got tier one. I'm hoping to bring down boys. Let's just accept the fact that this Rax will be dropped and that with the power of the Carl Blast and company will the down boat flies forward. Time walk. Yeah, Yao will be struck off all the bits of damage. Super looks to make his move, pulls in for QO, gets right back. Really could slow him down a bit. That was time dilated. He's gonna be the course to stand, plant, and fight. But they're gonna Pursue onto him with both the morph and a storm. They should be able to burst with QO can get him. He's bounced out of the way and he's up. Back in the safety of his team, he will not be brought down. And though the lag continues here, you can see easily as he slashes apart and takes out Yao. And that will be it for this mid racks. LFY though, will still hold on and fight, but they will not have a mid lane to defend. This is the MVP have already smoked up. I mean, it looks like they're going to be the first team to try to make a move. Wow. Be too much trouble as Kuku will take the expect expressor back home to get a scouting off in the head here is going to be uh, Velo here. Make sure LFY don't get too close to intercept. He has that Lotus Orb now and he's looking to take between three. Got a demon nearby, helps him out with destruction, but they're able to blast him down and that's going to be the end of it. And look at that, Yao following up with the Chrono, all for Dubu here. Or to cancel out any sort of follow-up play, but now they going to be going down and that means the rest of MVP could be on their way. Lightning Light will be able to bump him back as LFY looked to make the retreat, but they spotted Yao. He's trying to hide in a tree closet and Global comes a little too late to stop. Oh no! They're going to be able to make it away, but oh, not as fortunate. It is going to be, of course, in very dire straits. They rush back beaten and bruised.
in that fountain to heal on up. The tier 3 is now in jeopardy. I mean, draw some attention. MP bloodthirsty here, going out in front of the fountain. I mean, we're almost in disrespect dive territory as he makes an easy triple out of how there at the end with a good, gracious crit luck. But now that the three's dropped, back to what's important here. Looking to bring down the racks. He was like, I kill heroes faster than towers. He don't want this. Tries to make it go for Zhao Wei. Super's here now, pulls him back. Doesn't stop him. He wants Zhao Wei. He wants that kill. Can he get the crit here at the very end? Doesn't need it. Gets the kill there. Turns back it away. That's technically a quad kill now. And they're still having to deal with him. Bump back. Gets the Lotus to even help out. You don't even have any mana, you know? He's like, I just want to lose my agents to get all my life and mana back. Oh my god, it's over. Jalway's that's enough. Our, our team has taken enough. We'll go to game two.